Here's the grid, Michael Kane on the reverse grid. He starts on pole, Tom Oliphant alongside. Then Will Burns and new championship leader, Carl Breeze. Lights on, out they go. Kane on very, very warm tyres, gets away pretty well. But so too, just third on the grid, Will Burns, who's looking down the inside. Burns made an absolute cracker of a start and he's come through. Kane, I think, getting dug out to drive. Burns has gone through, pretty good start by everybody. But it's Burns leading, followed by Carl Breeze, who's come through. Look how close that is, Paul. Oh, Will Burns there. He's right in there, isn't he? He's right yeah. in the lead there, but lots of tyre smoke. And Kane didn't make a great start, but now he's up and running. And now it's going to be interesting to see who gets the toe down to the first corner. But now you've got Will Burns out going towards Church, and he's well out front. So great start from Will Burns. We've got Jamie Orton into Allard, which is fifth here with a touch of a lift as he turns in and now going up to the complex completely flat out. Maximum velocity as we go on the brakes hard. Wow. He's got a big problem because Bradley Smith and Wrigley, it looked like they just flew past him. Oh, Jamie, he's not going to be he's had a great start to the season. And that's our onboard camera. Mm. Curse of the camera. That's a shame for the, uh, the long-haired stallion walking away from the car. Oh, and he's having a go again now. Here he goes, looks down the inside, has he got the run on him this time? It looks closer, and Kane's going through on the inside, no he isn't! Will Burns responds to it, and maintains the momentum round the outside, Burns hangs on to the lead, and Kane has got to try it all again. And Kane's got the run again, got and him. he's further up the inside this time, and surely he's got him! He has got him, Michael Kane goes through! Kane into the lead, Will Burns is demoted on the last lap here at Thruxton. So the 45-year-old from Newmarket is going to take the win, the chequered flag goes out, the first win! in Super Cup for Michael Kane. Look, and he's made up, he's won hundreds of races, but it just shows how much it means to him. I'd, I'd love to see that, Kane, good lad. It's great, you know, everybody at Amigos and JHR have worked so hard to, to put this deal together to get us out there racing that they just deserve the win. Um, so hopefully we can build upon it, make the car better for, for Alton um, and, and start taking quite a few wins out there. Ready for round five to start. Hold on to your hats because we're going. Janetta Junior Racing. A long wait and away we go from the front. Dave Wood and maybe a little bit sluggish away. Patrick Matisse in white slots into third position. But it's Sophia Flush from the outside of the front row. Dan Silos is going around the outside of Wooder. That's the orange car on the outside of the uh, a green car. But it's Sophia Flush that leads Middleton in second place. Matisse and the Dane is third. Brilliant start, wasn't it? So I was watching out the comms box and Sophia just got right on it and got a massive launch as you've got Middleton now having big pressure from Matisse in that Danish flag colour car and the rest of the field are just touching each other but they're all right, they're all right. They're all through complex and it looks like they're absolutely going to be spot on which is great to see. And now let the high speed train commence. Oh, but we've got Dan Zilos on the inside! And back, oh, and Matisse! And he gives him a bit of a shove on the grass, but he's through. And now Zilos, who was super quick round here last year, is going to be on the back of Middleton. Yes. And this is going to be a real launch down to the chicane. Sophia Flush, this is territory she's not been in before, leading the race behind the safety car, about to restart. What are her thoughts going to be, Paul? Looks like she's gone already. She's gone. She's got the jump. She needs to break late, not make a mistake now into the first apex of the chicane. She's got it and she's done it. Look at you. Go, girl. She's gone. Have some of that, lads. We're off. Into church. And what's Zilos going to do? He goes to the inside of Middleton. He's alongside, is he? He's just about alongside. Can he keep it on the inside of Middleton, the rookie? He has. He's done it. And he's this is him. it. Zilos is going to have to get on it now. This is the checkered flag apparently coming up. Out of the chicane they come, Sophia Flush, the young German is there, but here comes Zilos, can he get the run? There's the checker, Zilos comes offline, side by side up towards the line, Sophia Flush wins it, the 14 year old German lady racer makes Janetta junior history. Yesterday qualifying got good luck together and managed to go on P2 and now after the start he took the lead and managed to stay in front the whole time, even after the safety car, so it was a really good race. Round six of the championship about to get underway. They're keeping us waiting here at Thruxton for these juniors. And away we go, lots of wheel spin. Middleton looks up the inside. Dan Zilos coming across from the outside of the front row. Jamie Caroline is on the outside line as well. Middleton tucks back in. Billy Mungers in behind uh, Middleton, but it's Sophia Flush leading. 
as they come up towards the complex for the first time. Who's going to emerge in second place? Zelos is there. Middleton is there as well. We watch the back of the pack. They all come through, but it's the German lady racer that's there. But here comes Zelos. Oh, Zelos round the outside, is he? He's got back in with Stuart Middleton. We've got contact at the back, but we'll worry about that later. We've got contact at the front together. It's yeah. turned round. We've got Johnny, Johnny Hadfield Adfield. off. Yeah. And we've got Caroline going across the grass. And a car stopped. I think that must be Trugertha, is it? And there's Johnny Hadfield in the yellow car on the right-hand side. Oh, disaster for those guys. And Munger now tees up the inside. Jamie Caroline and Stuart Middleton coming up. Kyle Hornby's there as well. And through they come. And Munger takes that second place. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Hey. What a move. That was brave because that's completely to the board. Now, what's Munger got in his cabinet? As now Caroline has gone past Zelos as he's lost momentum with that move. Yeah, he has. That Munger pulled off on him. So now it's on. It is on. Is Monga going to pull away from Caroline? Is he going to get to the back now of Sophia? We can only wait and see us. Middleton is having a look inside the church. Will it go two into one? That's a bumper wow. church that goes. Moving around. Absolutely Fantastic. amazing. Oh, that was brilliant. No flick of the brake lights. They are the bravest of the brave. Look at this. Five cars for the lead. Caroline's going for second. Up into the chicane for the last time. Unbelievable. And Caroline's coming from nowhere. He's blocked Billy Monga in. And can Caroline go around the outside? But I think we're going to see contact. And Caroline, again, like last year, gets through the chicane. But Sophia Fleur, she's going to win race two. It's going to be two out of two for the 14-year-old German. Sophia Flush makes it two out of two. Billy Munger second. Jamie Caroline third. Stuart Middleton is in fourth place from Dan Zelos. Kyle Horby, the HHC guys, absolutely made up with that. A superb Janetta <laughs> Junior race once again. I knew that we had a good pace because in testing we were also quite fast, but like winning the first race was already amazing, but now I don't even have the worries what to say. <laughs>